Hey guys, it's Damien, and this week we're talking about school in the future. This video is going to be a short one since I'm not in school anymore, and it's going to be a while before I start school because I'm taking up a job for the moment, which I'm not going to be in more than a year, at least in my opinion. But when I was in school, uh, I didn't really identify as transgender because I didn't find out I was trans until shortly after I graduated college. But there were a lot of resources for LGBT folks, and that included transgender people, because I did attend the LGBT club when I identified as lesbian. So school treated everybody pretty openly. New York City is pretty liberating, especially a school like Hunter College, uh, one of the CUNY schools. So there were a lot of resources if you wanted to look for them, and they also had these drag parties, which I didn't really have an interest in. I was just lesbian. I didn't really take part of the LGBT community until, like, shortly after I started transition. So in that respect, it's a little hard to talk about school, but what I can tell you is that you can't really afford to be silent because let's just say if you're going to a new college and you haven't started hormones yet or you haven't legally changed your documents or you haven't gotten a name change yet or your gender marker change and or you're in a state that doesn't allow those things or they have like really stingy requirements you can't afford to be silent and assume that uh, people are going to take care of you you have to take matters in your own hands buck up the courage and tell them okay so legally my name is this but i go by this and I would prefer male pronouns, and I would like you to tell the teachers this before I start class, or you could email them directly and let them know what's up. So on the first day of class, when they're like, if they do this habit, they start calling, doing a roll call. They don't, uh, they don't out you by saying your birth name and everything, because that can get a little awkward. So. In that respect, in school, you have to basically defend your identity, nail and tooth, and all that. It's it's hard, but I'm sure if you have a good support system, and I don't specifically mean family, but I mean like a group of friends that are willing to stand up for you and say, this is my friend, and he, I would really pref appreciate it if you uh, respect his, mm -hmm. his pronouns. Now, I haven't had one of those people because, like I said, I wasn't in college, and when I was in college, I had no problem being going by my birth name because transgender was not in the front of my mind or in the back of my mind. It was just something that I never thought of until I graduated college. So you have to be ready to defend yourself, and don't be afraid to ask for help from counselors or LGBT resources at your college if there is any, or to research online for any resources that might, might not be available at your college to make it a better experience for you. And of course, there's also the bathroom issue because, well, if you're not on hormones or you don't want to be on hormones, but you still want to go to the men's room because you do identify as a man, again, despite all that, uh, I would definitely uh, talk to somebody like uh, administrative and see if they can possibly let you go or even better, let you go to um, gender neutral bathroom or the staff bathroom or and somehow get exempt from the girls' gym routine if that's what you're into, assuming you're not in college and you're still in high school, middle school, wherever you are. They're bound to make you put you with the girls, so you kind of have to find accommodations for that. But the point being, you can't afford to be silent. No one else is going to stick up for you. Now, granted, we have made a lot of progress, but in school, it's really just you who's benefiting from all those things. So you got to learn to ask for help um, because people can provide you resources, but if you don't speak up, they're not going to know. So that's all I really wanted to say this week. It, like I said, it's going to be a short video. I can't really relate my experiences as I transition shortly after graduating college. But I guess one thing, last thing I could say is that I recently just got my college degree changed from my old name to Damien Coppersand. So that's nice. I didn't have to pay anything or anything. And they didn't really treat me any different, at least not that I could see that was visible on their faces. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. I'll see you guys next week.